Every time I intro, I take like a deep breath and then I'm just like, hey. But honestly, I would never really talk to anyone like that in real life. It's just kind of like, what's up? What's going on? So, today I just wanted to say, what's up guys? What's going on? I am literally 11 days away from my wedding right now and I can't believe that it's literally that soon. I feel like this time has flown by, especially since we've done this series called Wedding Wednesday. A lot of you guys have suggested to kind of keep this train going and do marriage Mondays after this and of course it wouldn't start up until a little bit after the wedding and after we've had the honeymoon and all of that but I just thought it was fun that you guys are suggesting that sort of stuff and currently I'm in the new apartment if you saw the video where I kind of sneak peeked what our new apartment's gonna look like then you got to see the entire thing in essence. I just didn't describe anything in detail because not everything's up. We don't even have like chairs for our table or any of that right now. I forgot to say anything at the start of this video, but my hair is a little bit darker because I wanted to return to like my root color and this is definitely much darker but I was born with very very dark hair so I really like it I think it'll look good with my dress and everything which speaking of I'm doing a video today all about my dress just talking about the details of like what went into it all of the time that it took to like make it my dress and also what kind of dress it is and I don't think I want to show like what it actually looks like before like all of my wedding stuff comes out like all the pictures and videos and all that but I want to talk about how I chose the dress and how I knew it was the one. A lot of my videos have been sit down talking through things but that is what really wedding planning is. It's sitting down talking with different people, arranging cake, arranging how many people are coming, arranging invitations and programs and all of that. Each step and each process has been really simple in my opinion. A lot of people stress out about planning weddings but in essence and the whole scheme of things the past couple months have been pretty great like with planning everything and I think it's honestly an attitude thing. You have to decide like right up front I'm gonna be a chill bride. I'm not going to be super over the top overbearing with people and then you typically have more calm responses when things go awry and just aren't going how you expect. So one of my friends actually got me this really cool planner. It's called Our Wedding by Knot and I think she got it on Amazon and it has like pretty much every step of the way like what you need planned so you don't need to hire a wedding planner if you don't need it unless you find yourself being a very disorganized person. I would recommend it but the only person I have helping me with like planning stuff is the day of coordinator which is one of my bridesmaids moms and she's just the perfect role for it so I asked her to help me out and she is so when I went and picked out my dress I went with all of my bridesmaids and two other girls Brooke and Anna and they are really dear friends of mine as well and I would have them be bridesmaids but I just didn't have or Nick didn't have enough not that he doesn't have enough friends, that sounds wrong, but that he didn't have enough people that he wanted in the wedding to like match that amount. And also it just gets really expensive when you have any more than like five in my opinion. I had all my friends there shopping with me. This was like several months ago. It was in 2018, like a month and a half or two months after I got engaged. We went and looked in November, at the end of November. And that's when I got my dress. So the dress that I chose was a Pronovia's dress. That's kind of how you say it, I think. And it's not made in the US, it's made outside of the country and I believe it's in Spain. Don't mark my words actually. This is the Instagram account though and you can tell they are definitely very elegant dresses. None of, I didn't see my dress on this Instagram though. I think Pronovia's makes their dresses in like groups that makes any sense. So they'll have like 200 of this dress, 500 of this, and then they'll stop making them. And that's what a lot of prom stores do as well as they, or prom brands, they do that as well. So I shopped in Illinois and I think that's why I got such a cheap, I wouldn't say cheap, definitely not cheap 
dresses aren't really cheap. But I got a really good deal when it comes to a wedding dress because I didn't shop in like downtown Atlanta or all of the really expensive areas. I went and visited all my friends that are in the bridal party and who are coming from Illinois to North Georgia. And I went to this place called Fru's Bridal. I love this place because I've done videos with them before because I know the owner and they have great prom dresses, dresses. And they also have a great bridal section that I had never had the honor of checking out because I wasn't getting married but I was in high school and trying on all these prom dresses, homecoming dresses, and they're super elegant and beautiful. So the first dress that I ch like tried on um, was the one that I chose. And of course I s selected like eight other dresses, tried those on, but nothing compared to the first one I tried on. And I don't know why that happened the way that it did, but I just loved it so much. And my friends even told me throughout the whole process, we could tell that you just really liked the first one that you tried on. Your face lit up in that one and it didn't in any of the other ones. Has long sleeves, um, it's fitted in the waist and in the butt, but then it flares out at the bottom. It's not like a mermaid style, but it, it flows out in the back, if that makes any sense. But it also has a lot of lace. There's about five layers to the dress and the whole issue with this dress, it's just been a, a really big work. Like it's been a big project, not necessarily for me, but for the woman who I had helped me out, like take it in and take this out and bring this up. And it was just really, really handy. Like you had to unstitch each and every piece of lace in order to move certain pieces up. It was just a lot, 20 hours of work just with our hands, like unstitching and restitching. She just made the process so smooth. So very thankful for her. Shout out to you. You know who you are. Thank you so much. I knew I wanted a long sleeve dress. I loved seeing pictures of other women in like long sleeve dresses. And since we're getting married at the end of March, it'll be kind of like springtime weather, but still a little bit chilly. So it'll be nice to have long sleeves and we'll be outside, so. I think it's just literally the perfect dress for the occasion and I will probably keep it uh, and just look at it from time to time. I wish I would have vlogged the experience now looking back like when I picked out my dress because my friends and I just had a lot of fun. Like it was set up so nice and we were the only people in the store and we all got to toast to our time before. Some wedding stores just have a way of making this time super special and I loved that about Fru's Bridal that I went to. If you guys are in the area, I would recommend going um, even for homecoming, prom, just a nice evening out that you want to get a good dress for. It's in Alton, Illinois. Being in the Midwest, the prices are much lower than being in a big city. So if you ever have the option to like go outside of your big city, if you're in a big city, then I would do that. That was my experience. Tried on the first dress that I went with. I ended up getting the first dress that I tried on and it ended up working out really well and I have no regrets. I actually have planned to go to the office today that I kind of showed you guys a sneak peek of two videos ago and we're going to record a few podcasts just so that we aren't like occupied with any sort of like podcasting or posting or any of that while we're on our honeymoon or during the wedding time when we have family in town. So we're gonna do that and I really, 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 really need suggestions of episodes that you guys wanna see, topics that you wanna see covered, um, different maybe even biblical questions that you have or just questions about life in general. We're no experts. We're definitely not any experts at really anything but we just like to share our experiences and hopefully people learn from it in some way please comment down below what you suggest for us and if you haven't checked out nick and i's podcast it's called encounter now with nick and Chels. i'm super appreciative of all of the support that you guys have given myself and nick and us together because we're a team now like this is we're in it for life so um i really appreciate all of the nice comments. I've planned to film a swimsuit video in the Grand Cayman where we're going on our honeymoon and it's all with Albion Fit uh, swimsuits. I love their swimsuits so much and they have like a new like wave of swimsuits out right now. So, yes, thank you guys for tuning in and watching this video and I will see you guys on my social media. 
I don't know if you know what those are, but they're linked down in the description if you're curious. But until then, I will see you in the next video. Deuces. Thank you.